Hi guys, welcome to this first Jackson Wyoming airport update. As you may have seen in my last video, you could see me build the airport, paint it, draw all the markings and uh, finalizing the design. I will link it uh, in the top right so you can watch it if you didn't see it before. Um, you may see some uh, traffic on this airport here in Jackson Hole that is not very familiar with the airport, but it all makes sense. A little background information, um, as you may know, and I'm familiar with Jackson Hole Airport, is that mostly Delta, United um, and American Airlines fly to this airport. And in the peak season, in the winter, uh, Alaska, if I'm correct as well. Um, only problem is, I only have wide bodies of those aircraft. Um, I have a, a Delta 8300, I have a um, US Airways, uh, former US Airways of course, now it's an American Airlines Airbus 8030, but in the US Airways livery. Um, all those airplanes are not very familiar with the aerodrome. It's mostly um, 8220, 8220, 757, sometimes 737, and of course, yeah, the Alaska 737s. So for now, I took uh, my narrow body aircraft from my US fleet so i have some southwest some frontier i have an alaska one will you see in a couple of episodes probably so the older traffic here uh, serves a older purpose which we will come to in a second so yeah let's get started the first airplane on the airport is this airbus a350 1000 in the airbus test livery um, you may wonder how is it possible to land here but it is not landing it is performing a touch and go at this small airport in a uh, environment with close uh, mountains nearby, short runway, big aircraft, so it's testing, getting its data, performing some touch and goes, and then leaving the area again. And as you can see, the fire truck is also on standby. In case something happens, it can act immediately. Um, for now, it is just watching the beautiful aircraft take off and land. At stand number one, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus 820 CEO in the Grizzly Bear livery, as you can see with the Grizzly Bear on the tail. It is getting its catering loaded, but awaiting its passengers for now, since it is resting at the stand, waiting for its afternoon flight back to Denver, Colorado. At stand number two, we have a special visitor here in Jackson Hole. It is the Iceland Air Boeing 757-200 in the Heckler Aurora livery. It is getting its passenger boarded currently, waiting for its flight onwards towards Anchorage, Alaska. It is a special visitor. It is traveling all around the world, taking passengers from one destination to the other, on a luxury vacation. So for now they are boarding for a flight to Anchorage to watch some grizzly bears in the beautiful Alaskan nature. Pulling into its gate is the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Colorado One livery. Uh, just arriving from Dallas, Texas. Standing at gate number four is this Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Texas One livery. It is getting its uh, cargo loaded, the baggage loaded, as well as the passengers are loading as well at the front entrance. When ready, it will push back for a flight towards Chicago. And at the General Aviation site, we have some special visitors as well. The KLM City Hopper in the Anthony Fokker livery, uh, Fokker 70. It is loading up its crew for its next leg towards Victorville, where it will be coming to its final resting place in the desert. It will be dismantled, used for parts. Very beautiful aircraft. At the General Aviation Terminal is this Antonov AN124 from Volga Schnepper. It is unloading its cargo, its very special cargo. It is carrying a cable car system for the nearby ski resort Jackson Hole. Um, you may wonder how is it able to land here. Well, it lands at the very first part of the runway and taking off will be empty. Then it will reposition to a bigger, a bigger airport where it will load up its fuel for its return flight back towards Austria to pick up the next section of the uh, cable car lift. So as you can see, it is a very busy day here at Jackson Hole Airport in full operation, end of summer season, getting ready for the winter. I hope you guys like this first airport update. If you have any tips or advice, please let me know. And for now, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next videos. Bye.